Hello everyone, today I'll be doing an ant tour for 2026, and you might be wondering why I'm doing this a little bit early, but it's basically because I have to go to college, so I'll have to downsize a little bit more, and if you'll notice throughout this video, I have already downsized quite a bit, but I still have a good amount of colonies, so let's get started. This is my 5 Queen Pokemon Mix Californicus colony, Harvester Ants. You can see all that nice brood they got there. Let's use the glare. There's one queen right there, there's two queens right there. There's three queens right there, and there's a couple more in the back. There's one right there, you can see. Anyways, these guys have exploded. They have a lot of brood and workers. They're probably near 30 to 40 right now. As you can see, I need to give them an outworld or something because, like, every time these guys get fed, they try to escape. They're making a mess everywhere. You can see them eating a mealworm right there, and they eat pretty fast. You can see there's like the mealworm shell. But in the middle, like, all the mealworms gone because they, they already ate it and fed it to, like, the larvae. Which is why there's so much right there. Alright, now on to the next species. Next up is this Miramocosistis Placonauts colony. As you can see, they only have two workers. Basically, they got to around 10 and then I, and I dumped them into a formicarium for them to live in. And then uh, it slipped out of my hands and some things happened. And now they're back to this. So hopefully that queen can recover in the future. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. They have some pretty nice colors though as you can see. Next up I have another Pogonomermix colony. But this is Pogonomermix Desitorium. They are a slower growing Pogonomermix. And they have a worker cap of a lot less than Pogonomermix Californicus. So basically this will be like a small nice quote unquote desk colony that I can have in the future. And as you can see, they have about 8 workers, 8 to 10 workers. And they're going pretty well. They got a lot of decent brood. Workers starting to get bigger after each generation. Oh, and that yellow one right there is a callow, basically. So it's like a fresh worker. Pretty cool, right? And yeah, there are some seeds that they eat. I fed these guys yesterday as well, and they already do all some mealworm. It's basically just a shell. That'll be it for this colony, and on to the next one. Next up is my last Viremester Perkini tube colony. You can see all three queens right there, and they eat quite a lot. It's not as fast as my other one, but they still are doing pretty well. There's their nice seed pile, and there's a worker carrying a seed back to eat. Like a little snack. You, know, you can see all their brood there, they got a ton of eggs. The queens pump them out like crazy. You can see the larvae right there. And there's some, that like brown stuff in the back is the processed food from the mealworm that I gave them yesterday. Which is also all gone, by the way. Oh, you can see a little bit right there. And a bunch of larvae in it. The cool thing that I see these species do pretty easily is they separate their brood into eggs, pupae, and larvae. Something, just something random. Other species do it too, but I don't notice it as much. But anyways, yeah, this colony has about 40 or 50 workers. And doing pretty well. And on to the nest colonies. Next up is another... Vermesser Pergonite colony, and you'll notice that um, there is a little light here, but the moment I open this, they're going to start escaping because the barrier over here is worn off. So let's do that. Ah, oh, look, workers are already starting to escape. And yeah, you guys are doing very well. They got so many workers and brood. Ah, oh, look, there they go. That queen's old gasser there. So I think that the first queen died of natural causes rather than getting murdered by the other queens. They're starting to make more gunk on their tube, so... Good for recording, good for me. That was a joke, by the way. You can see a mealworm that they are processing right there. I thought I'd give these guys a treat. Look at that worker, big worker right there. Here is a big pile of their brood. They have a lot of pupae and eggs, as you can see. And there are the two queens with some more eggs right there and some stuck on her butt. You can see the workers eating some mealworm back there. But yeah, all overall, this colony is doing pretty well. I am now going to clean this colony up because a good amount of workers are escaping. But yeah, alrighty, and on to the next colony. To a quick glance, you can see I put them all back in there safely. Alrighty, next up is my Miramcosistis testaceous colony. These are basically a species of honeypot ants. You can see their butts are all filled up with honey. And there's the queen's butt right there. For some reason, this specific like nest had like a groove in it right there in the corner. So all the workers are just sitting in there. Here's a kind of better shot. You can see some more workers. All the pupae and brood and stuff's in there, so not much to see. 
However, you can see some workers there holding lots of honey in the butt sitting on, on the ceiling right there. Overall, I hope to see some nice growth from this colony in the future. Next up is my Miracocystis flaviceps colony, which is another honey pot. You just saw that well, like a white worker walk by, that was a callow. And you can see a lot of workers right there and the brood. That larvae is munching on some mealworm in the back, as you can see. And you can kind of see the larvae moving as well. Overall, since the last time I've shown these guys, they're doing pretty well. You can see the queen right there. And those workers back there. Oh, this honestly, this is one of my favorite ant colonies right now. It might not look like much, but it's one of my favorites to me. And there's some of their brood right there in the back. There's about seven pupae. And alrighty, now on to the next colony. Next up is my Capnotus sansibinus colony, a carpenter ant colony. And honestly, these guys are doing pretty much the same. I neglected them a bit, and I took them out of their incubator to replace them with the honey pot colonies. Because um, I like the honey pots better. But these guys are doing are pretty okay. These carpenter ants have very nice coloration, as you can see right there. And they're still producing. They got eggs and everything. Here's where most of their brood is. And they have some majors. All in all, they're doing pretty well. I just have to increase their heat so that they can grow faster. But yeah, don't look like your ants, guys. I don't recommend it. It's a trash pile. If you keep ants, you'll eventually start neglecting something. But I would try to recommend not to doing that or else your colonies will stagnate. But yeah, here's the Capnotus sansibinus. Alright, and on to the next colony. Next up is my Capnotus maritimus colony. And these guys are always honestly doing the same. They like grow and then they die back and they grow and die back. But all doing pretty well. They always have a good amount of majors. They eat quite well as you can see. They gut whole roaches. Oh, and there's a queen right there. Ooh, they're starting to escape. That's bad. Oh, it's going to be a pain to deal with. But anyways, yeah, there is a nice hot major down there. I'm going to show you guys it real quick. And they got some brood there. And don't worry, I am going to replace our tube today. It just ran out. And now I'm going to clean this mess up because they're everywhere. Tip to uh, future ant keepers, always make sure your barrier is intact. I know this one hasn't been intact for a while, but I didn't expect them to all rush up like that. And uh, now I got like 15 of them on the lid waiting for me to open it. And these guys actually hurt, by the way. But anyways, let's move on to the next colony. Next up is my Capinata Sei colony. They're doing pretty well in this nest. Honestly, they're having a lot of growth. And they're always foraging in the owl world, as you can see. Thankfully, the barrier in this nest works quite well. Here's the inner part of the nest. The queen's in that hole. And it's kind of hard to film in this nest because, because how deep the chambers are. But other than that, you can see they're doing quite well. There's a lot of brood in there. Here's where they keep some more of the brood. For some reason, a bunch of these are like a massive die-off. I don't know if it's because of the age, because some of the workers were quite old. But other than that, they seem to be doing fine. Some nice red Capnotus. One of my favorite Capnotus species, by the way. I hope these guys can grow quite big. Anyways, on to the next ant colony. Next up is my Pseudomyrmix Apache colony. These ants basically live in twigs. And you might not think that oh, it's quite dirty, but I just cleaned it. And this bear is, is gone, but these are a lot easier to manage. I'm going to show you guys why I think these guys are cool. Watch this. Like, they move, like, they move, like, away from you. So, like, if you put your finger around here... They'll actively avoid your finger. Some ants like will rush towards it, but I just find it funny. So, see, look, it's tr it's trying to run away. But if I put my finger there, look, see, they just like dash away from it. <laughs> I just kind of find it funny. This specific species has like a behavior where like the queen will just like prevent all that larvae from growing, and only a couple will grow at a time. So that's why they still at twenty workers despite having all of that larvae. And those black things right there are males, useless males. Like, they literally do nothing. Oh, and yeah. You might think, oh, no, there's no more water in there, but I have a feeder right there because they did that. Anyways, yeah. There's the queen right there. She's quite fat. She lays a ton of eggs. It's probably like 20 eggs, like, just from the other day. Like, her butt right there is the size of, like, the rest of her body. Just think about that. But anyways, yeah. This is quite an interesting species to keep. And if you ever get your hands on them, I would totally recommend it. Despite their slow growth, they are one of my top five species. They do eat quite a lot, and they like to cut up each other up for some reason. You can see a lot of heads in there. But other than that, they're doing pretty well. And on to the next colony. This is my Manica Nvidia colony. And as you can see, while I was taking them out of my ant tent, they uh, escaped. So I gotta deal with that now. Yeah. I gave them some mealworms as bait to hold some of the workers or, or distract them. They have a lot of brood. 
probably at three to four hundred workers now. They have some more library in there, but you can't tell because of the condensation. But yeah, I'm going to deal with that, and then we'll get back on to another colony. Alrighty, everyone, after a bit of struggle, I have aspirated all of the workers. So now the floor is safe, and they have stopped escaping, and I have patched all the leaks. I just wanted to show you guys real quick, watch this. There's like a ball, you can see it, it's so funny. Anyways, yeah. Isn't that cool, guys? Alrighty, here's my Manica Bradley at Colony. And the footage for this one might be a little bit too blurry because the plastic condensated while I was recapturing all those workers. But as you can see, this colony is doing quite well. They have a orange and black coloration. They probably have about 60 workers. They grow a bit slower than the NVIDIA, but they're doing pretty well. You can see they're eating like some mealworms and roaches in there. I mean, that's a roach leg. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, look, you see they have amazing coloration. Is it not hot? Anyways, yeah, keep going. There's some more food for processing. Overall, this is a very interesting species to keep just due to their coloration. If you haven't get your hands on these guys, I would definitely try them as well. And now, on to the final colony. Alrighty, this is my Acromimix Versicolor colony. As you see, they have a decent amount of brood. And it's kind of funny that all of the workers like ranging like crazy. There's like some tiny ones. And then some really huge ones. Like right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Anyways, yeah. The fungus is growing back. And one contrast I just wanted to show you guys. You can see this fungus on top. It's a little bit darker. But if you look in the bottom, where they like, basically ate out the bottom. And they refilled it with some newer white fungus. Oh look, there's the queen. You never see the queen anymore. You can kind of see the queen. There's like a piece of fungus blocking her. You can see they're hanging some more fungus right there. So that's a good sign because this colony or this species usually hangs their fungus. Most of it is on the wall, but I expect some more hanging in the future. But look at that! Isn't some that's some beautiful growth? All that like pink is like rose petals they put onto the fungus for it to grow. Pretty cool, right? Oh, this is a bit of shot of the queen right there. She's always hanging out in that one corner. I never show this side usually, but I just find it interesting that they uh, have like a bunch packed in right there. On to the other side. You can see there, they've been like a mass production. There's a ton of rose petals everywhere in there. It's everywhere. They're growing that stuff fast. Oh, and there's some new additions right there. So yeah, I can count at least like 20 rose petals in there. You can see the pink everywhere. Some very nice fungus. I want to try to eat some, but I want to let it grow out a little more. Glad they're doing their thing. And you can see some variants of the workers there. There's some smaller ones there and bigger ones there. They don't have majors, they just have bigger workers. Onto the outworld, there's their big trash pile. They're pretty easy to keep, honestly. And the barrier, like, mostly works, but there's always a spot where it, like, breaks down and they get out somehow, but mostly they stay in there. You can see all that, the pink red flowers. Don't worry, I provide some variation, but you just don't see it. There's a bunch of workers trying to escape. Naughty workers. Some more naughty workers right there. If you look very closely, you can see a lot of cuts in the leaves, and that's because the workers use their manuals to basically cut the leaves into pieces and bring them back to the nest. Which you saw right there. Oh, and there's a worker carrying one. That's pretty cool. Alright, everyone. That'll be the end for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this colony update. The queen is also thankful for you watching this video. Anyways, everyone, I hope you have a good day. And I hope you continue watching my videos.